So last week on Just the Tip, I made a big point about how a uh, common misconception with face pulls is that you're trying to pull that cable all the way to your face and what people end up doing is they actually get their deltoids out of the movement and they're working their biceps. Now another thing that's true with not just shoulder presses or shoulder press machines but pretty much any pushing movement is you're gonna notice a lot of people grab on way too narrow. You can see from straight on my wrist is all the way inside of my elbow. So I ask what muscle is responsible for gaining distance between the wrist and the shoulder. That's tricep. You know, you can grab a single dumbbell or a cable and we're doing tricep extensions. So if you're doing a pushing movement, you gotta make sure that wrist clears the elbow. So that way you're bypassing your tricep and your elbow can drop down below your shoulder. So this way your deltoids have to pull that, that far end of your humerus bone up above your shoulder. The other thing that we notice, and this is where you have to listen to the design of the machine, this angle on the bench is not a design flaw. The reason it's there is because, as you see, this machine circumvents also going this way. So when you notice, you see a lot of people using this machine from the side, and their arms are trying to push straight up. That's a conflict of interest with that predetermined path of travel before the machine. So make sure that your elbow gets up. So this way, you're actually pushing with tension on your delts, and you're also freeing up where that hinge wants to move. So instead of having everything bunched up, and trying to push with a conflict for how your, your joints are, right? And having to try and drive straight upwards, this right here, this is a big gallop, right? It's, it doesn't matter how much weight I pile on this machine or how much I try to get my traps to pull these bars around, I'm still not working my delts. If you open everything up so it can move the way it's actually intended to, you're gonna see a massive increase of tension and a massive increase in length of that contraction. So, those are machine shoulder presses, it's just the tip.